in this video, I'm going to take shadow stroking onto another level. If you'll have seen the past uh, three videos on all the different footwork techniques you can do in the hitting phase, then you'll know that we did it with just a racket and no ball. So what I've done today is I've cut the strings out of an old Radical MP that I have using my head Radical tennis balls and I'm going to shadow stroke with a stringless racket. So let's very simply go through the different techniques that I did in the previous videos. If you haven't seen them, check the link above and get on it. So the first one was a transfer, which is very simply where I turn the back knee in before I hit the ball. That fires the hip, fires the shoulder, and it just has a tip stance finish with the sole of the foot pointing away. So I can practice that with my stringless racket. So I throw the ball up, transfer, pop it up, throw it up, transfer, pop it up. We'll do one to the screen to make sure I'm hitting it. So we'll do this one in slow motion. Ooh, a bad bounce on that one as well. So now, the next one was to hop, so I'll do this towards the camera. So you're hopping on the front foot, back foot stays back. Have a look from the side. Front foot, back foot stays back. Yeah? So I'll go here, hop, front foot. Yeah? Here, hop, front foot. So I can practice that in all different directions. Coming backwards, hop. Yeah? It's important when you hop backwards that your front knee comes up. That creates the kind of uh, asymmetric line across the body. It's called cross chaining in fancy terms. So it's here. Yeah. If I this foot comes around, then I don't quite get the spark on the contact. But there are times where I might have to do this, where I come back and then spin around at the end. The next one was pivot. So if I can pivot forwards, yeah. I can pivot backwards. Yeah. I can jump, which is going from one foot to the other foot. So I throw it up high, down, and I go really high. Let's see that one in slow motion. Bad bounce. It's good. You, if you get a bad bounce on a surface, you have to adapt. I also sometimes have to jump backwards. So if I'm going back, whoop, oh, jumping backwards. Not convinced that was a jump. I think I landed on both feet, so I'll try that one again. Oh, yeah, definitely landed on my left foot there. Then I have all the different movements that I can do while moving. So I could do a shuffle step, so I have to throw the ball out for myself. So shuffle step. I could do a crossover step, so I have to throw it further, right? And then finally run step, so I have to throw it really far away, oh, run through, I'll do that one further away. Yeah. So you can actually use a stringless racket to practice not only the different footwork techniques, but equally as important, making sure that the head alignment is staying with the ball. Because that's the one thing that many players do when they shadow stroke, the head is pointing all sorts of different directions, which means you're practicing an unrealistic movement. Give that a shot. If you like it, press like, subscribe to the channel, Comment below on any other ideas you'd like to see because I've got tons of things I can do from home.